the methods that we have learned for solving second order linear ODEs can be used for nth order linear ODEs. Today we will see nth order ODEs. Consider the nth order linear ODE a naught x nth derivative of y plus a one x n minus one -th derivative of y plus dot 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 a n x y is equal to g x. We assume that all the coefficient functions a naught x a one x dot 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 a n x g x are continuous on the interval i. We also assume that a naught x is not equal to 0 for all x belonging to i. Then it will be nth order. Otherwise, the order will be lesser. Now, a nth order linear ODE is said to be in standard form if we can write it as nth derivative of y plus p1x y nth n minus 1th derivative of y plus so on up to pnx y is equal to rx. If rx is equal to 0, then we call such nth order linear ODE as homogeneous ODE. And if rx is not equal to 0, then we call it non-homogeneous ODE. The initial value problem existence uniqueness condition is given in this slide and initial value problem for the nth order will be of the form nth derivative of y plus p1x n minus 1th derivative of y plus so on up to pnx y is equal to 0 with the initial conditions y x0 is equal to k0 First derivative of y x0 is equal to k1 and so on up to n minus 1th derivative of y at x0 is equal to k n minus 1. So, there are n many initial conditions for a nth order initial value problem. For the second order initial value problem, we had two conditions. Now, here x0 is a point taken in the interval i. The existence uniqueness theorem says that if all the pi's are continuous throughout an interval i containing x0, then the initial value problem stated above has a unique solution on i. Note that both existence uniqueness are guaranteed on the same interval i where the continuity of the coefficient is given. The von skin of n differentiable functions y1x, y2x and so on up to yn_x is defined by von skin of y1 dot 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 yn is equal to the determinant of the n cross n matrix where the entries are y1x, y2x and so on up to one yn_x in the first row. Then in the second row we have y1 prime x, y2 prime x and so on up to yn prime x and so on. And the last row is n minus 1 derivative of y1 at x, n minus 1 derivative of y2 at x and so on up to n minus 1 derivative of yn at x. Suppose we have the nth order linear ODE in standard form given by nth derivative of y plus p1x n minus 1 derivative of y plus and so on plus pnx y is equal to 0. Assume that the coefficients are continuous on an open interval i then the n solutions y1, y2 and so on up to yn of this differential equation on interval i are linearly independent if and only if 
their one scan is zero at some point x naught in i. The analogous result was already discussed in the topic on second order linear ODEs. So, we will see a proof of this statement for nth order ODEs. So, first we assume that the n solutions y1, y2 up to yn of the DE are linearly dependent. Let y1, y2 up to yn are linearly dependent on interval i. So, when you say they are dependent, this means that there exist k1, k2 and so on up to kn constants such that k1, y1, x plus dot 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 plus kn, yn, x is equal to 0 where all ki's are not equal to 0. So, by non-trivial I mean they are all not equal to 0. So, we have this first statement. Now, given that we have this first statement, we can take the derivative of this first statement. We will obtain the second statement, namely k1 y1 prime x plus dot 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 plus k yn prime x is equal to 0 and keep on taking derivative till we get the last equation as k1 n minus 1 derivative of y1 at x plus dot 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 plus k n n minus 1 derivative of y n evaluated at x is equal to 0. So, we have n many equations. Now, we will treat this as a system of linear equations. There are n linear equations and we will treat k1, k2, k3 up to kn as the variables. What we do is we evaluate this at some point x0 in i. We fix a point x0 in i and evaluate this at that point. Then this system of n linear equations can be written in the matrix form as follows. So, variables are k1, k2 up to kn. This is the coefficient matrix consisting of entries y1, x0, y2, x0 and so on up to yn, x0 in the first row, y1 prime x0, y2 prime x0 and yn prime x0 in the second row and so on and the last row being n minus 1 derivative of y1 at x0 n minus 1 derivative of y2 at x0 and so on up to n minus 1 derivative of yn at x0. So, this particular matrix multiplied to this column matrix consisting of k1, k2 up to kn gives us 0, 0, 0. So, this matrix equation is equivalent to the system of k linear equations where we take x to be equal to some x0 and fix it. Now, since it is known to us that k1, k2 and kn are not all 0, which satisfies this matrix equation, this would imply that this coefficient matrix is not invertible because if this is invertible, the only possible solution is all ki's are 0. So, this is not invertible, which means their determinant is equal to 0. But their determinant is the one skin. That means the one skin of y1, y2 up to yn evaluated at x0 is equal to 0. So, we got the proof of the first claim namely if we have n solutions y1, y2 up to yn of the differential equations which are linearly dependent then we do get the one skin to be 0 at some point x0. So, we got this one skin to be 0. Now, we are interested in proving the converse. Namely, if the one skin is 0 at some point x0, then we should have that the uh, y1, y2, y3 up to yn are linearly dependent. So, for proving y1, y2 up to yn are linearly dependent, 
we should be able to find some k1 k2 k3 up to kn such that k1 y1 plus k2 y2 up to kn yn is equal to 0 where k1 k2 k3 up to kn not all are 0 so again we consider a system of n linear equations in variable k1 k2 k3 up to kn so the first equation here is k1 y1 at x0 plus dot 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 plus kn yn evaluated at x0 is equal to 0 then k1 y1 prime x0 plus dot 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 plus kn yn prime at x0 is equal to 0 and so on the last equation k1 n minus 1 the derivative of y1 at x0 plus dot 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 plus kn yn n minus 1 at x0 equal to 0. So, this is a system of n linear equations in n variables. The variables are k1, k2, k3 up to kn. What is known to us? It is known to us that the Wonskin at x0 is 0 which means if you write this as a matrix equation the coefficient matrix is having determinant 0 if the coefficient matrix has determinant 0 this implies there do exist a non-trivial solution k1 k2 k3 up to kn for this system of equation so there exist some k1 k2 k up to kn which are non-trivial that means all of them are not not equal to 0 which solves this system of equations so we choose those k1 k2 k3 up to kn we choose those k1 k2 k3 up to kn which are not all 0 and then we define yx to be k1 y1x plus k2 y2x and so on up to kn ynx y1, y2, y3 up to yn is given to us. We have been given solutions of differential equations y1, y2 up to yn such that the one scan of those solutions at x0 is 0. So, this y1 and yn are given to us. k1 we got from the system of n linear equations. So, their combination we take and we get we define it as yx. Now note that we have y at x0 is equal to y prime at x0 is equal to dot 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 is equal to n minus 1's derivative of y at x0 is equal to 0. Why do we have this condition? Because y at x0 is equal to 0 is same as this particular equation which is the condition that we have assumed. Next, y prime at x0 is equal to 0 is the second equation which we have assumed. Similarly, yn n minus 1's derivative of y at x0 is equal to 0 is the last equation which we had assumed. So, this n many equations give us this initial condition that means our yx satisfies this condition now this differential equation homogeneous along with this n many initial conditions form a initial value problem and our yx satisfies the homogeneous differential equation and satisfies all this initial value conditions. So, yx is a solution of this initial value problem. But also y equal to 0 is another solution of this initial value problem because y is equal to 0 is a solution of the homogeneous equation and y is equal to 0 everywhere satisfies this initial conditions also. So, y equal to 0 is 
another solution. But by existence uniqueness theorem, we have a unique solution. So, this yx is equal to, in fact, a function which is everywhere equal to 0. So, we obtain that k1 y1 plus k2 y2 and so on plus kn yn is equal to 0. But since k1, k2 and so on up to kn are not all identically 0, k1, k2 up to kn are linearly dependent. With this, we have proved that if the bone skin of y1, y2 and so on up to yn at x0 is equal to 0 for some x0, then the solutions y1, y2 and so on up to yn are linearly dependent.